I'm not exactly sure what you would need something like this for, and apparently some people agree. Yeah. So there's a new push in the state legislature to ban the sale of flamethrowers in Michigan. Yeah, do you know they were out there? Yeah. This is a story our seven investigator Jim Kurtzner brought to our attention. And now State Representative Sarah Roberts of St. Clair Shores has introduced legislation to ban them here in our state. And Representative joins us right now. Good, so good to have you with us. Stephen and Joanne, thank you so much for the opportunity to speak with you today. It's our pleasure. Talk first to us about how you heard about these flamethrowers. I heard about it through a constituent. Uh, he emailed me and actually included a link from the coverage of the story that you did a couple weeks ago. And when I looked further into the, into the issue, um, it just seemed to make real sense that we should be banning these very dangerous devices here in Michigan. So what did you think when you first see, uh, first of all, I mean, I was kind of stunned when I realized that you could buy a flamethrower. I don't know what you'd use it for, maybe weed control at the outset or something. Well, what did you think when you first saw these flamethrowers? I thought, wow, what a dangerous device, and somebody is going to end up getting seriously hurt or killed um, from individuals just kind of fooling around with these things. And you know, I, I've been to both the websites of the manufacturers of uh, these devices, and you know, one of them says, uh, thank you for your support for these incredibly fun devices. <laughs> what would your legislation do? Uh, House Bill 4876 bans the sale, manufacturing, and possession of a flamethrower. Oh, so manufacturing as well. So where it's manufactured in our area, you would shut them down essentially. This bill would do that. And also this would put a stop to sales online, people wishing to buy them out of state because obviously they can't possess them here in Michigan. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the things that I found really troubling, I, I went to both of these websites to find out what it would take to purchase one of them. They want your name, your address, and a credit card number. Um, you know, young kids, you know, teenagers, you know, could get their hands on a very dangerous device. And, and again, someone could get seriously injured or killed. Have you reached out to the manufacturers of these to talk to them about your legislation or let your thoughts be known? I have not yet. You know, I've had had some initial discussions with the state police and the governor's office, um, but but I'm willing to talk with them. You know, at, at any time, I've I've read uh, you know the manufacturer here mm -hmm. in Michigan, his comments in the paper. I, again, I've been to his website, and I just don't believe that there are real practical uses uh, for civilians. You know, here in Michigan. Real quickly, do you think, uh, and pardon the fun here, do you think this will catch on like wildfire among your your colleagues? Well, <laughs> I'm hoping that we're going to have some meaningful discussions and that we're going to be able to quickly get this bill passed through committee and through the House and the Senate and uh, put it on the desk for the governor to sign. Representative Sarah Roberts, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me.